What's going on everybody, Coach Moments back with another video and I know it's been a good week since I made like a real video where it's me talking to you guys instead of playing GTA or playing Pro Am on 2K. But I'm back with another video and I'm a little late on this DeMarcus Cousins thing and I'm going to explain some stuff that might, you might have already heard before. So, but we're going to go ahead and hop into this. Sorry guys. Um, we're going to start off with, this is probably one of the dumbest trades I've ever seen in my life. I'm only 16 years old, but a lot of trades that happened during my time span that I was able to recognize and this is pretty much at the top of the list even Vlad Vlad the he, he makes the decisions for the kicks he, he is the owner I'm not sure if he's the owner or not but he makes the decisions for the kicks he admitted there was a better trade on the board for the Lakers it's like why are you why don't you go back into talks with the Lakers then why were you so quick to trade that is a Awful. That is a awful move they made. Okay, so you're gonna trade for Tyree Kill. Okay, I get where he can go with maybe he can reunite his career, like re up it where he was first started. Three knee surgeries in eighteen months. Not even two years. A year and a half. Three knee surgeries. He's never been anything since his rookie year, never made an all star game or anything. You got Buddy Hill who's been nothing. Usually when you go to a four-year school, that mean, that's not, doesn't mean really a good thing. Because then you see a lot of guys who, let's say, um, this is a lot of people, let's say like Miles Turner, one year. One year at UT. He was out of there. But Buddy Hill stayed the whole four years. But you have people like Tim Duncan who stayed with Wake Forest for four years because he loved it. I don't know what Buddy Hill's thing was, but Buddy Hill, that's you see, usually that's a problem. That's a problem. Buddy Hill has struggled mightily this year. And they said they see a Curry in Buddy Hills, which I don't even think are similar to me. I know they're three-point shooters, but <laughs> Curry's got good handles. It, Buddy Hill really doesn't. I'm just saying. And you got Langston Galloway, who has decreased in field goal percentage. He's increased in three-point percentage, but his field goal percentage has dropped about 6%. But he does have a team option, which he has time to improve. That's probably the best player in the trade, him and Buddy Hill. <laughs> and, but you did get a first-round pick. This is the good thing, and is right now you have the sixth pick in the draft, which you probably won't see because the Pelicans are going to start winning. Well, I think it's actually a guaranteed lotto. Actually, my bad. Yeah, it's probably going to be a guaranteed lotto. But it's probably not going to be a good one. And... You trade for a second round pick. And let's be honest. If you're going to try to pull Isaiah Thomas out your ass, it's probably not going to be good. You're probably going to end up cutting him. Because the second round pick has to work his ass off. He has to work his ass off to work to be able to make the D-League. The D-League is probably where he'll start off. It's probably where he'll stay. Second round, talent's so few and far between in the NBA. Because if you get after like the first 15 picks, ooh, the odds of you having something special is... Not looking too good. You got like overseas players and all that stuff. But yeah, that's a really dumb trade to me. DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis, to me, if you really think about it, what better duo has there been of centers? I know I haven't even done anything yet. Have you ever seen two centers like that? Ever. Ever. They're literally the two best centers. Carl Anthony Towns is great, but he's not Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins yet. Which Carl Anthony, I'm a big fan of Carl Anthony Towns. But to Davis and Cousins on the same team, which you have, they actually have a strong team. Drew Holiday is a very underrated point guard. I know he's 83 overall and all that stuff, but he is good enough. He's good enough. And, you know, I don't think they have a really good enough talent to keep them, keep a steady win rate because... I don't really have any backup of them. They they have they have more stuff to trade. They can trade for a backup point guard, maybe even like a shooting guard. Shooting guard you can actually fill up, fill something for Buddy Hill. It's not hard to find. Hey, maybe you want to trade for a Wilson Chandler. Wilson Chandler's having a great year. There's a lot of stuff to trade for right now. Maybe Darren Williams is a backup. You have a lot of options that you don't have to give up that much. A lot of buyouts that could be happening close to the trade deadline. You got a lot of good options. So the Pelicans have just set themselves up for at least another year because DeMarcus Cousins will be there for another year. 
which he'll after that, you know, I don't know if the Pelicans will decide to give him a $200 million contract or not, but yeah, Pelicans won this trade by a mile, and the Kings really fucked up, but the sad part is any they the Kings told DeMarcus Cousins and his agent, we're not going to trade you. We're not going to trade you. We're not going to trade you. And it's, it's, that's really bad. This is looking really bad of Vlad. He is not, he is looking off right now. Knowing that all 30, all 31 other teams could have made the offer that they just made. How are you going to turn down a Lakers offer that was better? And not do it and say, well, we could have traded for something else. Somebody traded for this. You could have said, dude, why did you decline it? Why are you in a panic? This man does not know what he's doing. I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the people watching me could have done better than him. Better than him. This is sad. My Mavericks would have traded for him, but at the time they were saying no. Because look at this turn. Dwight Powell, our first round pick. Our first round pick would be better than the Pelicans. Most likely because they have a better team now. I'm just saying. And we have other stuff. We have better stuff. We could have thrown it was Dwight Powell, Seth Curry. Oh, by the way, Seth Curry's very underrated. He's having a great year. Dwight Powell is coming into his own. There's so much we could give up. We could give you Darren Williams. We could give you a better package than a team of freaking no names besides Buddy Hill and Tyreek Hill. I mean, Tyreek Hill. <laughs> I'm thinking football. Tyreek Evans is trash. No offense to you, dude, but, like, dude, you have been nothing. You have been nothing. That's it for this video. Clutch Moments out. Deuces.